this video, I will show you how to sort Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Now, in this example, we have a payroll worksheet. And let's say we want to sort the table based on family name. In order to do that, you can simply highlight cell B6 to H26 and click data and click sort button. Make sure that before you go to the sort settings, you don't have any merge cell selected between B6 to H26. Sort and filter is not working with merge cells. Now, in this area, you can specify where do you want to sort your table. You can begin with sort by family name. Click OK. Excel will create alphabetical arrangement on your table based on family name. Let's have one more example. What if I want to sort my table by department? All we need to do is to highlight this table. You go to data ribbon, sort, and then let's change this into department. Click OK. Excel will now create and sort your table by department. Now, Microsoft Excel can also sort our data based on two level category. Let's say, for example, we want to sort our table by department and by salary, displaying largest to smallest salary. So how do we do that? First, you need to highlight the table. Let's go back to sort button. We don't need to remove existing sort here. We can simply click the add level button and change this into starting salary. Take note that Excel will display a numerical order based on number that's smaller, smallest to largest or largest to smallest. In our case, we want to select largest to smallest based on starting salary under department group. So if you're done, click OK. And now here's your table. Your table is arranged by department and based on highest to lowest salary per department. Now, how do we use filter? Filter is used if, for example, we want to display specific criteria or data within our table. Let's say I want to filter this table by department, displaying only accounting or admin department. We can simply add filters by selecting the headers of a table, make sure there are no merge selected. You click on data and find filter in this area. Okay, once you click that filter, you'll notice that all the headers selected will contain this drop down list and the criteria is based on the data type for each column. For example, when you go to date employed, the available filters are related to date. If you click starting salary, number filters. If you click family name, we have text filters. Now, going back, if I need to filter this table by admin department, all I need to do is to click the drop down list and then uncheck select all and check admin only. When I click admin, click OK. Excel will now filter my table based on admin department. Similar to what sort can do, we can actually create multiple levels of filter. 
let's say you filter all the admin now you go to designation you can add one more more set of filter for example accountant click ok excel will filter data of admin specifically accountant let us clear the filter Anytime you want to remove the filter, you can always highlight them again and click the filter icon to remove the drop down list. Click the filter again for you to display another set of filter. This is very helpful for a large amount of data so that you don't need to scroll the mouse going down. You can simply filter the data based on specific category. And that's how we use sort and filter in Microsoft Excel.